This is 12 and 24 volt smart battery charger. And it is capable to deliver 20 amperes of power on 12 volt battery and 10 amperes of charging power on 24 volt battery. So I will not talk much about the specifications, I will just connect it on the sample battery and just give you an opinion what I like. So first thing that I like, it is a quite big charger, but it is light enough and it has a really nice handle to take it around. Second thing that I like on this design is that it has on the bottom folding legs which can pop out and then you can easily see on the display when it's on the floor, like this. So, the third thing that I really like is that they add holders and so you can wind up your cables around for the charging and power supply so you don't jiggling around with the cables and they even add some attachment points to the clamps so it always rests there and it is really nice to carry around. So let me now connect the charger on the sample battery just to see how it works and please don't judge me I don't have a bigger car or truck battery but it will do the job to demonstrate you how it works. So let me connect the plus and minus clamps, let me put this thing down and unwind it like this. Great, nice cable, long enough, so very nice. And voila! So when we connect the clamps on the battery, without AC power connected on the charger, it will show us the state of the battery. So like this. We just plug it. The charger is now on and it will show us the state. So temperature and the voltage. So the voltage is pretty low and is showing us that the battery is drained out. So let me now connect the charger to the main power and see what happened. So the charger has started doing something and now you see that it's selected on the car so we will just put it on the motorcycle because this is the motorcycle battery and see now it starts to charging and it's Right now it's charging on 13.3 volts and 1.5 amp of power. So charger is automatically detect that this is 12 volt battery and you just need to select the type of charging. So motorcycle charging, motorcycle battery and now the charger doing thing itself. So he knows that battery right now don't need because looks like that is charged but the voltage is, is just dropped down a bit and it will just correct everything and recharge what it needs to be charged so the it is charging with very low amperage so to not destroy the battery right now i will now leave the charger to charge the battery and let me see how it will end up the charging cycle. As we see now, the charger is going slowly to complete the charging cycle and after one hour and a half, it slowly reduces the charging power. So only one ampere now and it eventually will go into the zero and stop the charging. So let me wait a little bit and we see how it going to complete the job. So after two hours and a half of charging the charger is done with the charging and now it starts the test TAT mode uh, which means that uh, it will test the battery for 10 minutes if it is fully charged or not and right now you see he put out the full message which means that the battery is full and it's done.
Thank you guys for watching this video and I really hope that it will be something useful for you inside the content and see you in another one. So thank you and goodbye.